Um, I'm joined by Lisa Johnson. Lisa has been recently appointed as a National Director of External Relations and Training. Thank you, Lisa, for coming to our conference today. First of all, how are you enjoying the day? It is absolutely fantastic to see so many women in one place getting together to actually talk about how they can get more involved in the union, get more involved in politics, and um, actually just seemingly having a really good time. There's even been dancing, so yeah, it's great. Always great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, for anybody that doesn't know what your title means, mm. do you want to just explain a little bit about what you've been tasked to do and obviously a little bit about your role? Definitely. Well, obviously we've got a new general secretary in Tim Roach, and part of um, what he's coming to office saying is that we're going to build a 21st century union. So that means updating things a little bit. And in head office, it means sort of bringing together a lot of the functions that sort of face externally. So bringing politics, communications, international um, training in European, all under one route, so that we're working up in a bit more of a joined up way and then connecting back down to the regions and you guys feeding stuff up to us. And it's just been a, a little bit more joined up in what we do. Um, and also, one that comes to communication, stuff like this is fantastic because it's about how do we talk to our members and maybe engage a little bit more, especially with all the new technology that we've got out there, stuff like social media and, and things, to just be a little bit more ever present in our members' daily lives. In the 21st century. Absolutely, that's <laughs> yeah, it. Definitely. Um, well, so obviously, that's what you've been tasked to do. With yep. How is that going so far? Because it's very, very recent, isn't it, that you've been appointed to this role? It is, yeah. I started in May. Um, we had a bit of a reorganisation. Um, so it's going well. I mean, there's a lot of taking stock to start with because obviously GMB's been around for 125 years. You know, we're sort of looking at what are we doing well? What do we need to change? What do members want and need from us out there on the ground? And what works great, what doesn't, and how we can just make this better. So it's going really well. I'm really enjoying getting out to all the regions and coming to stuff like today because we need to know from members what it is you want from us. And the only way to do that is to get out of head office and come and speak to people. So if people do want to get involved or feedback any ideas, how do you envisage that working? Contacting you directly, going through branches or...? Every means possible, every means possible. We've actually got a Jimmy Facebook page now, which is, we, we hadn't had previously, we, we launched it during the referendum campaign, which if you search, I think it's GMB Union or GMB underscore Union on Facebook, you'll be able to find it. Give us a like, people, if you're out there. Um, so Facebook, we're doing a lot more engagement, and Twitter for people who are on it. Just dropping us a line. I'm on lisa.johnson at gmb.org.uk. So anybody who's got ideas or thoughts, and um, just send it on in. We're going to be looking at how we use the website a little bit better to engage with people. So essentially, any way that you want to get in touch with us, we're working on firstly making it easier and better to do that, um, and secondly, tell us how you want us to do that in the future. Brilliant. Thank you. So you hear us here first. Get involved. Get active. Speak to your reps. Speak to your region. Speak to Lisa. Smash it. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs>